Hey guys, welcome to Monday's home workout. Hopefully we're into our last few weeks, so really trying to get some of these workouts done so that we can come back to the gym when it's starting back at square one and we've got some baseline of strength and fitness still there for when we come back. So we're gonna start our warm up as usual, three rounds. We're gonna start in our squat stance, toes pointed out. We're gonna come down into the bottom of the squat, elbows inside our knees. Heels on the ground, pushing our knees out, dropping our bum as low to the ground as possible. Hold for five seconds, and then keeping those legs straight, driving those hips up towards the roof, keeping the hands on the toes. Hold for five seconds, getting that hamstring stretch. That's one rep done. Back down, bum down, chest up, heels on the ground, elbows inside our knees. Hold for five seconds, driving those hips up, hold on to our toes. Hold for five seconds, and repeat until we get five repetitions done. Once we've that done then, we're going to go into our calf stretch, so we can use a wall, get in as close as possible, drive the knee and hip forward, open up that calf and ankle joint, trying to get that heel in as close as possible, use the stairs, use a door frame, use a wall, whatever you have access to as usual. Once you get both sides done, coming down onto our knees, we're just going to stretch out our shins, so trying to not let the ankles roll out to the sides, keep them nice and neutral, we're going to sit down, into our heels and we're going to try and push the front of our ankle down into the ground so we're trying to get that ankle as level to the floor as we can the more level we get the bigger, bigger stretch we're going to just get the front of that ankle up into the shin bone up into those shins a lot of running a lot of skipping so just make sure we stay mobile spend 30 to 60 seconds just accumulating some time loosening out those shins once we've that done then we're just going to come down into our frog stretch we're gonna walk our knees out to the sides, feet directly below our knees, toes pointed up, down onto our elbows, then just rocking forward and back. Accumulate maybe 15 seconds of rocking forward and back, and then after 15 seconds, just hold as far back towards your heels as you can for that extra 15 seconds. So 15 seconds rocking forward and back, and then 15 second hold. Trying to keep your back nice and straight throughout, so no arching or rounding with your back, keep it nice and flat. Once you've that done, then three rounds as usual. Okay guys, today we have some optional strength work if you want, overhead work today. So we've got three different variations, okay? So we've got a handstand hold, five sets, rest as needed in between each set. You're holding for max duration each set, your score or your reps is the seconds you're able to hold without coming down. Okay, second variation is gonna be a headstand hold. Okay, so trying to work on that, just balance, stability of the shoulders, make sure you got something soft underneath you, a mat, a cushion underneath your head. Okay, and in against the wall for safety. Don't try this at home if you think you're gonna fall over and injure yourself, okay? And then our third variation is gonna be a one arm half kneeling press for anyone who can't do the other two variations. Dumbbell, kettlebell, barbell, whatever you've access to. On the half kneeling press, we're looking for about six to 12 reps. That rep range is there just because it depends on what weight you have. Some people will have a, have a heavy weight for, do, for them, and six will feel like max effort. Some people, the weight won't be that challenging. They'll be able to do eight, 10, or 12 reps. So just play around with the rep range. Make sure it's challenging. You're working strength, okay? If you're doing the dumbbell, work overhead. So, handstand hold, coming in, taking your hands to the ground, kicking up, body in a straight line, head true, arms completely locked out and straight. Keeping your heels only in contact with the ground, your back and your head and your shoulders should be off the ground, off the wall. Accumulate as much time as possible. When you feel your elbows are bending or you're losing positions or you feel like you're gonna fall on your head, just gently come down and rest. And you're gonna accumulate five rounds. Second variation is gonna be a headstand hold. So creating that tripod position. So hands out in front. Head's gonna go out front into that tripod position. Again, practice this in against the wall. Go straight line if you can. If that's too difficult for anyone, you can go at knees and hold. Having a nice even amount of weight in your hands and your head. Shouldn't it all be in your hands and shouldn't it all be in your head. Okay, so nice half and half distribution. Again, hold for as long as you can, rest as needed in between sets, and accumulate five rounds. If those two aren't an option for you, grab your dumbbell, grab your kettlebell, 
We're gonna go half knee on one arm press. Knee that's on the ground, hands gonna go overhead. Down all the way, elbow in. We're gonna go for eight on our right side. Or sorry, six to 12 on our right side, depending on the weight we have. Changing over, six to 12 on our left side. Depending on what weight we have and how challenging that weight is. Working on perfect technique, body staying in a straight line. Same with the presses, rest as needed in between each set so that you can try and maintain your rep range across all five sets. Okay, then once you've that done, you get five rounds of that strength work done as usual. It's optional. Try and get in a little bit of strength work if you can. We're gonna go on to our Metcon then for today. So in our Metcon today, we got eight rounds. We're gonna work for 60 seconds or a minute, resting for 30 seconds in between each round. Okay, and we're trying to accumulate as many skips as possible. So each round is gonna start with five push-ups. Try and make sure it's a difficult version of push-ups, but you can still do full range of motion. So use that raised area if you need. After we've our five push-ups done, we're gonna do 10 body weight squats. Make sure we're getting down below parallel. And we're standing up fully at the top of each rep. Once we get our five push-ups and our 10 body weight squats done, we're gonna pick up our skipping rope and we're gonna accumulate as many skips as possible in the remaining time. Double unders, single, single doubles, or singles, depending on your level with the skipping rope. Counting your reps on the skips after your minute has elapsed. You're gonna get a 30 second rest and we're gonna go for eight rounds in total. So, clock will start when we're on the ground. Hands underneath the shoulders. Five push-ups. Up onto our feet. Feet shoulder width apart. Hips down below to crease the knees. Stand up fully. Ten air squats or body weight squats. Try to get through those two movements as quick as you can. And then picking up your skipping rope. Whatever time is remaining in your minute, you're gonna skip for the remaining time counting those skips. Single unders, single, single doubles, or double unders. After our one minute, we get that 30 second rest, and we accumulate eight rounds. Adding up all our skips across all eight rounds today. Okay guys, nice mech on today. Nice little bit of strength work, something a little bit different. Try it out. If you can't do the headstands or handstands, do the one arm half in the presses. Accumulate five rounds, and then get on Zoom, and we'll see you for the mech on. Thanks for watching, guys.